Yes. Um, we're going to um, the back of the bus. Oh, to the back of the bus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, we're back to the back of the bus for sure. Um, you know, there was a time when... Um, in, in, was, in, in, in Louisiana, we still had... Um, that was the late 70s. Uh -huh. um, I had trouble getting married. Uh, they thought it was interracial. I had to show my birth certificate before I was allowed to get married. Okay. In 77. Well, when I was in Louisiana, I went to school at um, Heiko. Mm -hmm. one, one time, one mm -hmm. time I think I went, they were having a, they were having an assembly and the school was segregated. Mm -hmm. You know, they say it's not segregated, but they kind of looked at me and says, well, you know, where are we going to put gonna her? Put you? <laughs> um, I never went back. I never went back there. That yeah, was uh, that was one of those things, because mm -hmm. back then, you'd think... But at the doctor's office, they still had colored entrances. The, and then we mm -hmm. came back in, in 81, and uh, but no, nothing's changed. But this is Olympia. This is the South. This is Olympia. Yeah, that's the back South. Back to the bus. Here. Okay, we okay. already did that. So, mm -hmm. so now... Well, like, we're, we're back to the back of the bus. Yeah. Um, my son, who goes to Reeves Middle School, had um, an instance, you know, he's not, he's not always the greatest kid, gets into some, some trouble periodically, and I don't want to say he has behavioral issues, but you know, he, he's trying sometimes. Uh, he was on the bus, and the bus driver was trying to find out who the Negro was in the back of the bus. Um, I found out about this, and I was really upset about it. Called the school district, talked to them, wanted to know what type of a bus driver they have that would say such a thing. Um, and, you, you know, it it would be no different if we were in a different, you know, if we were in a different town and and there was someone in the back of the bus and someone said, who's the little white boy in the back of the bus? Who's the little Asian at the back of the bus? Uh, that's not the point. It could have been, who's the little boy in the red shirt at the back of the bus? Mm -hmm. The whole wording of the Negro in the back of the bus mm -hmm. was very offensive to Red me. shirt? Who's the gang member? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Who's the can't gang member? Can't wear red either. Yeah, can't wear red, can't wear blue. Um, so I was very offended by it. I called, mm -hmm. the, I called the school district, transportation. I called the principal. I called everywhere. And ultimately what happened was nothing, not really. Um, bus driver was required to sign, not write, an apology letter. Mm -hmm. um, he didn't deliver it. The, I believe it's the, the head of the Department of Transportation for the Olympia School District came out and offered the apology letter and said it wasn't going to happen again. The bus driver is a union member, so there was nothing that could be done. Uh, it would be on his record for future reference. Not very long later, a couple months later, uh, my son was in an assigned seat. He, this is a substitute bus driver. My son was in a, an assigned seat. He asked him to step off the bus for a little bit while this other girl that was in the bus uh, did what she had to do and he could get back on later. Under his breath, he decided he was going to make comments about the little Negro boy again. I had a little girl come to my house that I don't even know. Mm -hmm. I don't even know her. She was very visibly shaken, very upset, and said that he did it again, mm -hmm. and that he had called him a little Negro. The man probably thought Negro was an improvement. You uh, ever think of that? Because he's at the front of the bus? <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's a different N-word. Well, you know, maybe, but he'd already been addressed by it. It's the same bus driver. Same bus driver. The exact yeah. same bus driver who referred to him as We're trying to as be fair. We are Negro. trying to be fair. Yeah, yeah, who referred to him as the Negro. <laughs> and... You know, that, that word is, you know, hey, if you're speaking Spanish, okay, um, that, that it's a description, it's a color, it's, it's not about um, your color, it's about who you are as an individual. Um, I don't believe that, you know, I don't think that the school district handled that at all in a proper manner. I, I, you know, first of all, the man is still on, on the bus route. He's still driving the same kids. He still has the same opinions. And I don't knock him for having his opinions. <coughs> I, I, I think my problem comes when you realize that um, we're in a different era now. And, you know, mm -hmm. things are different. Perhaps his parents were, um, were one that raised him to be a certain way towards the little Negro children. Um, I don't know. I don't know where his mindset is. But I think after the first um, conversation with him... And the way things were, that the way that he carries himself and the way he addresses children, he's got to realize that that's just not okay. And it's yeah. upsetting. I mean, the kids don't want to be, they don't want to be singled out. They already feel like they're singled out. Anytime anything has to do with anyone of color, there's so few of them that 
it's automatically, well, you must be talking about me. It may not be the case, but it's the, the feelings that, you know, have been implanted on everybody, I think. So... Oh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I, I was just thinking about something, because sometimes I have these conversations with people, uh -huh. and uh, I'm, I'm from a different country, and so I'm descriptive, I try to be descriptive in what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like, let's say, um, for, and, and you, you know, I do this all the time. Uh-huh. Um, when when I talk about a person, you say, and I'll say, well, a neighbor, and you say, well, which neighbor? And I'll say, well, the Chinese gentleman, or the, because I don't know their name. Right, right. And and it's, uh, at this point, it's a real issue uh, to other people, but to me personally, it isn't, uh, mm -hmm. because I like to be descriptive. Now, if, if I was to say the second house down, you would have to like a Rolodex kind of go down or, you mm -hmm. know, or you mean so and so. Do you think that some kind of way they, um, they, they think the same way I do or? Well, you know, that might be, that might be true because for instance, um, one of the girls I know I was referring to and talking about foods and her culture and I refer to it as oriental. Mm -hmm. It was very offensive. Oh, yeah. I, I was asked to call it Asian. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't aware. Um, you know, and you know one of the things culturally about you know different cultures have different things. Things. You'll yeah. find that you know Asians a lot of times are mm -hmm. you know they're in my opinion I think that they are a little more overbearing and clustery and I think a lot of that has to do with the fact like if you're in a line they kind of they'll move right to the front and I think that's because their culture is such that they have to do that to be able to be recognized, you know, mm -hmm. and um, so... When, this is from our perspective. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. But I know that, you know, referring to, because I've always, I don't know if they changed it when I got older, but I always remember saying Oriental, but it's mm -hmm. actually Asian. So, you know, and now some people want to be African American or they're black. No, look at me, um, come census time. When I when I came to the United States, I was Negro. Then the next census, I was what was I, Arab, which wasn't true either. Then after that, I became an other. Mm -hmm. And and so so it changes because as you do the category, like right this moment, I am not Sub-Saharan. I am not European. And just in others, so they constantly change stuff like that. Well, you know, it's interesting. I filled out Head Start papers yesterday, uh -huh. and uh, for the race, it had all these, you know, black. They categorize. Uh, they categorize you, and then on top of that, they have ethnicity. That uh, was another category that you're supposed to write it in. So, um, you know, I'm female. I'm male would be sufficient. I mean, who really cares, right? Who cares? Okay, yeah. Exactly. Who really cares? So, um, so, so it gets to the point where it's, you know, do you want ranch or blue cheese? I was. Uh, <laughs> press number one, <laughs> press number two. Uh, okay, if you're number two, then you must be number five. Press seven. Yeah. <laughs> so I was kind of lost just filling out the papers. That one thing yeah. is the race and, yeah, and I, then the ethnicity. ethnicity. I, I let I you know, know what I am after the census. Now, we were at an event here not so long ago. And one of our Native American friends, uh, she's a Lakota, uh, things were not going according to the program, so I turned to her and, and, and we were sitting there and I said, well, yeah, I said, isn't it a good thing we're on Indian time? Now, that to Native American, that means we're going with the flow, but oh my God, I don't, somebody said, I don't believe you said that, and it became this big thing. You were on the phone? No, I was oh. talking to a Lakota friend. Oh, okay. okay. And, and so I said, oh, isn't it good that we're on Indian time? And it's, it became uh, became this big... So Indian set. time would mean that it just doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. matter. You right. get there when you get there. Right. You, you know what I mean? And we were trying to... Uh, what we were trying to do is things was really tense, and we were trying to even it out a little bit. Right. But it backfired. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, you know, I think that I think that happens with everything because mm -hmm. everyone does have different viewpoints yeah. and different perspectives, so... <laughs> yeah. That's... Oh, look at that. Oh! Hmm. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm looking at this book here. Um, let's see, we got another story we want to talk about, so... Um, I think what we're going to do, I'm looking at my time here because we oh. could talk about this all day. So, so, um, 
The paper, you mean? Yeah, well, yeah, the paper. Yeah. And then while while you do this, I'm going to get up. Is that the paper you need? That's the paper over there, uh, yeah. Okay, now, I'll give her the paper. No, I'm, no, I'm going to get up. I'll give her the paper. She'll talk, and then I see her in on the paper okay. while she tells the story. There okay. you go. You don't want to go back in front of the fishes, do you? No, no, I'm okay. Okay. I'm, I'm so, okay, right here. <laughs> so, um, okay, you start the conversation here. Yeah, so actually what we're going to talk about is I went to Gold Beach, Oregon, uh, which I frequent a lot of times, and, you know, it's a place that we love to go because there's the, the rivers there and um, the oceans there. But every time we go, we've all, we're always faced with, we're always faced with the racism that goes along with that visit. Um, the last time we went in, we actually had gone into a house that um, that someone we know takes care of. And as we were there, we were immediately faced with a, what do you want? Why are you here? Um, she's not here right now. you got to come back. Basically, you know. But how many years have you been going there? Oh, I've been going there all my life. All your life. All okay, my life. that's important. All, my life. Yeah, yeah, all your life. So they know who you life. are. And yeah. I continue to go. I'm going again next week. So yeah. um, it's not something that's going to stop me. It just goes to show you that it doesn't matter where you're at in the world. It's the same thing. It's yeah. always the same thing. You're going to get mm -hmm. positive, negative from everyone. And um, we returned, and my son is a very big advocate for, you know, um, diversity and... Um, trying to get people together on the same sheet of music, people getting mm -hmm. along and things like that. And he came back and he talked to... If you hold it up, I'll take a picture of, the, of it. And then you, do you want to read it or you want to well, tell you it? you can take a picture and then I'll just read it. What happened was we had this incident and um, someone that works with him decided to write an editorial to the editor of their newspaper. It was less than two weeks later. It was posted front page... Put it up a little bit. Front page of their... Um, you talk, and then I'm um, their local Curry County County reporter. And, and it, it that comes from Gold Beach. This is Gold Beach. And Gold Beach is very very small. I mean, I oh I, God, here it is. I don't even have internet access there in most of the places. Let me know when you've got it. Yeah, I, I got it, and, and now we go because um, I don't want to click. Okay, got Did it. Did you get it? Mm-hmm. And um, anyway, she wrote this letter in hopes that. You know, they would recognize that racism still exists in their town, and it really does. Um, it really, it really does. But it's a beautiful place to go. It's not a place I would ever stop going to. Um, the letter to the editor reads. Do you want me to just read it? Uh, it, uh yeah. And it, okay. Read it, and then we we can. And then we'll talk go, about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. This was written by Eileen Yoshina, um, and forgive me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. It might be Yoshina. Uh, it says, recently a young man I know visited Gold Beach with his family, and while there his family had offered to feed a relative's cat in a mobile home park on South Bank Road. While visiting the relative's home, his family was repeatedly harassed with racial insults, including the N-word, all within the hearing of the three little brothers, age 12, 11, and, thir and 3. It says, I'm sure that the residents of Gold Beach can imagine the fear, heartbreak, and pain this incident caused this family. This young man is a fine student who's active in leadership activities in his high school, as well as the community college and he attends, that he attends as a Running Start student. He devotes much of his free time to schoolwork, caring for his younger siblings, and taking part in extracurricular activities that educate people about the effects of racism in the, our community members. I'm writing in the hopes that the residents of Gold Beach will take the hurt he and his family experienced to heart and work to make their town a place that welcomes people of all backgrounds. I don't know if his family will ever feel like returning to Gold Beach. I hope that all of us can learn a lesson from this experience. Stand up for people who are subject to racial harassment and intimidation of any kind. You know, signed from Eileen, uh, Olympia, Washington. Now, um, did this woman actually lives in Olympia? She actually lives in Olympia. And how did she find out about it? Because, um, because of my son's involvement with diversity okay, that's what and it things is. like mm -hmm. that. Um, and so it's something, you know, that we'd like to see mm -hmm. change and... Um, she was absolutely appalled when she heard the incident that took place, and it, and it's just one. It's just one of many. Keep talking. Um, it's just it's just one of many incidents. I'm gonna leave again. But um, it's it's a place definitely gonna go back to next week. We're planning on a great trip, and we're hoping that you know the new year's starting and, and things are changing. We've got Obama in office, and he's. He's doing some great things. He's doing some great things. Maybe people will recognize that, you know, we're all a group, and if we work together, I don't care whether 
your white, brown, black, purple, yellow, Democratic, Republican, doesn't matter if everyone's working together, you know, the world could be a better place. Mm -hmm. um, what do you got there? I'm going to show you something, and I would like to, um, I, I will put it on camera okay. in, in its totality. I'm going to hand this to you, and I would like for you to tell me what you see.